Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at CLI commands which we can use for CUCM and we can use these for the troubleshooting purposes. So I am going to discuss these all of commands today. So once we take the CLI commands, we can divide it into two segments. So I divided it as a show commands another one is util commands so we look at how these commands are useful for us first we have to log into the cli in the call manager this is a remote setup and i have configured my cucm and this is the cli of the call manager so if you want to log into the call manager cli just download a putty or secure crt or something kind of software and you can enter the ip address and username password and ssh to the call manager then you can log into the call manager cli so in here i am going to use all the commands and i will tell you what is the usage of that particular command so our first command is show status command so I am going to enter the command so you can put the tab you can just type two three letters and put the tab then it will automatically complete the word so what happened when enter this command okay so once you enter the show status command you can see there are a lot of details in here you can see the host name date and time zone and the call manager version those kind of details available in here so those things you need sometimes when you are open a tag case or if you want to uh, check the exact product version those kind of uh, times you need this command and this will helpful for you so my other command is show date so once you enter this command you can see what is the date time configuration in the particular call manager so if this is a publisher so this is the date and time and the time zone which we have configured inside this so hope this also helpful for you when you are trying to troubleshoot some logins and uh, crd reports and other details okay so we'll go to the next command it will be show myself so just type my and put the tab and letter will complete it so in this case you can see the machine name so this is the head of a cucm publisher and its domain name abc.inc and it is showing what is the account which we have looked into this uh, particular cli and what is the privilege level this also helpful for you to identify the domain domain and the account name so hope this is this also helpful for you so then we can see uh, other command which is related to the network show net network so you can type in etn press the tab and status okay in this command you can see what is the network status so that means you can see what are the connected ports and what are the listening port not listening port those kind of details you can see in here so in the firewall in between call manager and LAN connectivity or something voice gate or something you can see what are the talking ports and what are the timeout ports those kind of stuff you can see in here and it shows the protocol and all 
so this may helpful you to when you are troubleshooting the stuff okay then we'll go to the next command uh, actually this is something some kind of weird command uh, it is show process list so when you enter this command you can see there are several linux kind of thing you can go down by pressing enter or pressing the space bar so till i don't know how to read these things so but you can see some processes so when you are troubleshooting in advance i mean you have a tech case or something so they are asking some details and i hope this command also helpful for you when the uh, processor is go highs and that kind of scenario you can take the logs or something and give it to the tech and you can troubleshoot this also so if you want to exit from here just press the q letter in the keyboard uh, and you will automatically get exit from that uh, process list so that's all from the show commands now i am going to show you uh, utils command these are the most uh, usable command when you are troubleshooting apart from the show commands so first we we'll look at uh, ntp status command so it is utils ntp status so once you type the ntp and press the tab you can see several commands available auth config restart server all start status so more commands you can have but i am going to see the status okay so this is the ntp status you can see remote peer that means ntp server is 10101 and the reference id you can see the status is 2 so more details available in there and synchronized time and everything is there status is 3 uh sorry and the utc utc means uh time zone it is etc greenwich so those kind of details available uh and you can see whether the ntp server is synced or not if it is not synced you can restart the service or you can start the service those kind of troubleshooting you can do and you can list the ntp server list by using show ntp sorry utils ntp and you can write server list so command is utils ntp server list so once you enter this command you can see number of ntp services in this case you have only one ntp server but if you have synced into several ntp servers you can see several number of ntp services that mean if you sync this with the primary ntp server and the secondary ntp server you can see that list so that is helpful for you because if the one server is not sync with the call manager you can uh, note down it from here so hope this is also helpful and the other thing is most common command is ping command so how we can ping from the cli it's like this utils network so you can see several commands available network ping and after entering this command you have to put the ip address to which device you are going to ping so let's say it's a ntp server just enter the ntp server ip address and press enter now you can see it is pinging 
so likewise you can ping to the call manager gateway or other subnet other user subnet so this may help you to understand whether the traffic flow or traffic path is correct or routing and other thing are correct so you can simply verify that thing using this utils network ping command so the other command is same as this most common command utils network trace route so from this you can identify the path from call manager to particular destination what is the path so if i want to know path from call manager to ntp server i can identify it from here by entering the ip address of the ntp server so if you want to know the path from the call manager to particular user subnet you can enter that subnet ip or particular host ip then you can list down the trace path but if it is flowing via uh, firewall or something maybe it will be a star mark this kind of thing so if you want to stop the process press control and c so press two three times then it will stop the process so the other command is diagnose test so using this command you can identify what are the services or not working services that means if the service is stopped or it is crashed or corrupted you can identify from this command this is uh, utils diagnose test you can use this command to identify service interruptions server from the server what are the services working on this you can see all the tomcat services passing passing if there is any issue with the service so you can see it will be fair so in this case there are no any services so that is how that command is working so the other command is you can list down what are the services running on that particular node so list that you can add utils service list this is the command so once you enter this you can have all the services which is running on this particular node and it will show you whether it is started or not started service so you can see all these services are started and working on so you can see this is stop service which means the service is not running sometimes when the gui is crashed or something so you can come into the cli and you can see whether that service is running or not so that kind of advantage is here so this also i think helpful for you and you can restart the particular service from the cli if you want so you can do that if you just think if you want to restart that web dialer service so you can do that by simply typing utils service restart and the service name so once you press the enter the service will be restart automatically so i am not going to restart this service i will go to the next command so you can test this i just press control plus c and exit from that and i am going to the next command my next command is restart command so if you want to restart particular call manager node you can simply use this command to restart that particular node utils system restart just press the enter button then it will ask 
the confirmation so like this and you can type yes once you want to proceed if you don't want to proceed you can press no and press enter so restart the board so if you want to restart that particular node you can simply use that command so the next command is shutdown command you can use utils system shutdown this is the command so you can press the enter and it is asked do you really want to shut down the system so if you really want to shut down the system you can type the yes and proceed but if you don't want you can press no and abort the shutdown so without uh, removing the plugs from the call manager better you can shut down on this manner so then the server will automatically stop the services and it will automatically shut down so that is very good for the uh, node health and my last command is db replication command so when you are working on the cluster environment you can see the db replication is correctly happening or is there any issue with the db replication so you can use utils db replication runtime state command and press enter when you are in a clustering state or clustering structure clustering design you can see from the particular publisher node to subscriber node whether the replication is happening correctly or not so this will take bit time but this is really useful for you to understand whether all the call managers are sync up and working fine so here you can see call manager publisher and the subscriber these are the two ip addresses the replication is completed this should be number 2 that means replication is successfully completed so if this is a 0 or number 3 or 1 or another number that means there is an issue with the replication so from here also you can identify whether there is a fault with your call manager cluster or not so these are the commands which we can simply use to uh, identify the issues and troubleshoot the issue issues in the call manager cluster from login to the CLI you can use this command so I hope today video is very helpful for you and if you have any queries any doubt please put on the comment section I hope I can help you thank you for watching thank